Okay, y'all got my avocado with egg. And I got my mini waffle. I got some smoked pulled pork, spinach and onion. Some butter ball. I mean some Lance Lake butter ball. I really don't need to put it in here, but I'm up. Um, I really don't need it right now. But I got my skillet right here. So I might be warming up my pulled pork. You know, so I'm going to break that into the skillet. I'm not dressed. So I'm going to break that into the skillet. Because I want to make me a pulled pork. You know, the brisket sandwich. Using avocado bread. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna also add my onion to that. I do have some spinach. Um, I don't know what to do with it yet. I might add it into my, I don't know. So I add it to my, no. I don't know, I might not use it. So that is cooking right there. So I am going to add some, some garlic. Well, I have some avocado, everything avocado. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that in there. And then I'm gonna add my shredded cheese. I need two eggs, maybe one will do it. I was gonna put it in the oven, and I think it'll work right in my um my waffle maker, waffle maker, waffle maker. Trying to smash it up. Yep, it is morning. Like I said, I eat whatever in the morning. So right now I'm just stirring up my pulled pork. You can get this at any store, any kind of place that got pulled pork, but I love uh, getting mine from Costco, even though they're not sponsoring me or anything, but I like the pulled pork they have over there. It's like the little smoked pulled pork. I don't like advertising, you know, of big places and stuff like that, but if this is what I use while I go by. I'm gonna add some more cheese. And I'm going to put it in there. It's enough for two. I'm assuming this will be enough for two. So just hope it don't stick, which I'm sure it may not. So I'm going to add a butter ball in there. I hope it don't burn it. I'm just going to add probably a little piece. I'm not going to add the whole little thing. Just a little bit. I hope it's not too much. I shouldn't add no butter. I'll never add butter to my waffle maker. So that's in there. So that light gonna pop on. Okay, we'll 
low. So I got my onions in here. You really don't have to put no seasoning in your pulled pork. You don't have to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to top it with some cheese. Once I warm it up, I'm just going to sit the cheese on top. And then I'm just going to um, leave it alone. Let the cheese melt on top. And then I'm going to place it in between my bread. Drop the stuff. 